Good morning, Chem 20s. Our lesson today will be on net ionic equations. Many reactions will only occur in solution. Dissolving a reactant is often the only easy way to get its entity separated from each other so they can collide with entities of another reactant. A net ionic equation is a chemical reaction equation that includes only reacting entities, whether they be molecules, atoms, or ions, and it omits any that do not change. To write net ionic equations, we are going to follow these four steps. I'm going to do an example, and when we're finished an example, please feel free to go back to this page in your notes and make sure you understand what the four steps are. So let's jump right in and start with an example. Example one, if a solution of sodium chloride is mixed with a solution of silver nitrate, write the following three equations. So the first equation we're gonna write is what we would normally do if we were in science 10. Let's read the statement and write a balanced chemical reaction. So we are going to mix a solution of sodium chloride. So we are going to call this the chemical equation. So NaCl aqueous is going to be mixed with silver nitrate, AgNO3 aqueous. So I have solutions of both. Now, this looks like a double replacement. So sodium and silver are going to exchange places, cation for cation. So we are going to get Ag. Cl. Now I have to look this up on my solubility table and it's low solubility so that's going to be a solid and then of course we're going to be left with NaNO3 and it's aqueous because it's nitrate and all ions are aqueous and nitrate. So we got to balance this one sodium, one sodium, one nitrate, one nitrate, one silver, one silver, one chlorine, one chlorine, one to one to one to one. It's all one positive, one negative charges. So our first step is finished. Easy step, science 10, you all come with this ability. The second step is to write a complete ionic equation. Now, to write an ionic equation, now that these are mixed together, we're going to use our aspect of biome. If it's a highly soluble ionic compound, we're going to dissociate into its ions. If it's a um, strong acid, it's going to ionize into its ions. So NaCl, and we've already done all the work already because you know the state. So this was a solution, therefore it's going to dissociate. It's highly soluble. So it's going to dissociate into Na positive aqueous and Cl minus aqueous. So again, it should balance. In this, we had one sodium ion, one chlorine ion, so it breaks down. Again, silver nitrate was aqueous, it's in solution, so it's going to dissociate into silver ions and nitrate ions. AgCl is solid low solubility, which means it will not dissociate. It's going to stay together. And sodium nitrate, we looked it up already. We know it's highly soluble. That's why it's aqueous. So this guy is going to dissociate into sodium ions and nitrate ions. At each stage, at each equation, these should balance. And if we carried it down correctly, it will. So sodium, one sodium, one sodium, one nitrate, one nitrate, one silver, one silver, one chlorine, one chlorine. Remember, these have charges. So one positive plus one negative, no charge. One positive plus one negative, no charge on the left. No charge on my solid, my precipitate. Positive. Oh, I'm glad we did that and we checked our work because Mr. Kemp made an oopsie and he wants to fix it now. And so that's always a good sign that when you go to check your work, NO3 minus, nitrate is only a one minus charge. Now, I will change pen colors at this stage because there's something called a spectator ion. And a spectator ion are those ions that do not change in the reaction. 
they are exactly the same on the reactant side as they are on the product side. So if we take a look, sodium ion, Na positive, is a reactant. Na positive is also a product. That's a spectator. It did not change in this reaction. Now, that is very different than, let's say, chloride. Chloride ion is a reactant, but this was bonded as chlorine here, as, and it's bonded and it's made a compound on the right-hand side. So everything that is the same on both sides, we can cross out, and those are called spectator ions. So sodium ion on the left, sodium ion on the right, nitrate ion on the left, nitrate ion on the right. Now, Mr. Kemp always likes to think of spectator ions kind of like um, if you're watching a baseball game, right? There are the team that's batting, there's the team that uh, is out in field, and they're changing, right? They're hitting, they're running, they're catching, and they're going to switch positions throughout the game. They are participating. The spectators are the people watching the game, and in all honesty, although they feel important, and it adds a lot of energy, they come and when they show up and when they leave or when they fall asleep during the game or when they go for a hot dog, the it's not going to change up how the game is played. The batters are still going to be playing for their win. The fielders are still going to be catching, trying for their win. But it has nothing to do with the spectators. The spectators are great to have, be in there. And yeah, they're part and they're in the, let's say, the solution. But when they arrive and they leave, they're arriving and leaving the same person. They don't get paid to play the game. They're not getting anything really out of the game except enjoyment. So that's what a spectator ion is. Now I'm going to change back for the last step. And the last step is to write the net ionic equation. Now, the net ionic equation is when you write the ionic equation, but you remove the spectator ions. So everything that's crossed out is now removed. So we have Cl minus aqueous, Ag positive aqueous goes to AgCl solid. Again, at each stage, it should balance. So one silver, one silver, one chlorine, one chlorine negative plus positive, no charge on the left, no charge on the right. We're going to mark this as one mark per line. If at any stage your reaction does not balance, you will lose the full mark. Again, I'm going to call something here, and we're going to just make a list because we're practicing. So spectator ion, well, we crossed out Na positive. So that would be a spectator ion. And in this case, we actually have two spectator ions. Nitrate ion is also a spectator. Yeah, I know it's an ion because it has a charge attached. So it started as sodium ion, ended as sodium ion, started as nitrate ion, ended as nitrate ion. So these are our three marks. And again, there might be a fourth mark if it asks you to list the spectators. Well, let's get an actual definition then. A spectator ion is an ion that is present but does not take part in a chemical reaction. You will see that this is the exact example we did on the previous slide where, hey, I start with sodium chloride in solution. I have silver nitrate in solution. And when I mix these guys, we made a precipitate of silver chloride, but we also have sodium ions floating around and nitrate ions floating around. These guys are our spectators the guys that didn't change. Notice, started as sodium ions, finished as sodium ions. Started as nitrate ions, finished as nitrate ions. What I have left that did actually change and what I like to say as what actually participated in the reaction was the chloride ions, the silver ions, and they then formed a silver chloride precipitate. And the net ionic equation is the one where it only takes into account those ions, molecules, entities that actually participated in the reaction. 
Okay. For example two, why don't you copy down the example and why don't you pause the video and go as far as you can. I think everybody can write the complete balanced chemical equation from science 10. And then I would like you to try to write also the ionic equation using what you know about biome and dissociation. So a bit, piece of magnesium is dropped into a solution of sodium chloride. So this is my chemical equation. So single replacement reaction, metal, metal. So sodium is going to go off by itself. Magnesium is going to join chlorine. But remember, magnesium is two positive. Chlorine is one minus. So we're going to need two chlorines. And again, I'm going to check my solubility table. And this guy is highly soluble, so he's aqueous. We're going to have to balance this. So two chlorines, two chlorines, two sodiums, two sodiums, one magnesium, one magnesium. So one mark for the balance chemical equation. Next, we're going to write is the ionic equation. So magnesium is an element. It's going to stay as is. Highly soluble aqueous, so it's going to dissociate. Now, it's going to dissociate into sodium ions and chloride ions. Now, this example is a little bit tougher because notice I have two sodium chlorides. So when sodium chloride dissociates, I, it's going to dissociate into two sodium ions and two chloride ions. On the product side, again, an element, it's just going to stay together. And we had two sodiums. Remember to carry down the correct number. And then again here, it was highly soluble, so it's going to dissociate into ions. So magnesium 2 plus and Cl minus. Again, one magnesium. We have two chlorines, so I'm going to need two chlorines. Check your work at this stage. It still should balance. So one magnesium, one magnesium, two chlorines, two chlorines, two sodiums, two sodiums, two positive, two negative, no charge on the left, two positive, two negative, no charge on the right. It's at this stage that Mr. Kemp would change pen colors and he would say, is there anything on here that's the same on both sides that did not change forms? And it looks like chlorine ion or chloride ion on the left chloride ion on the right. So let's do our last step, which is write the net ionic equation. So we're going to carry down everything that was not a spectator ion. So we still have Mg solid plus 2 and a positive aqueous goes to 2Na solid plus Mg2 positive aqueous. Checking for balancing, one magnesium, one magnesium, two sodiums, two sodiums, two positive on the left, two positive on the right. In this case, it said now that we know about spectators, you have to list your spectator or spectator ions. Well, didn't I spell that really wrong? Um, so it's going to be the chloride ion is our spectator. So one, two, three, fourth mark for giving us our list of spectator ions. Okay, example number three. Again, I would like you to do this the same way, except this time you do it all yourself first. No, I'm going to start with my chemical equation. When potassium sulfate solution is mixed with barium bromide solution, a precipitate is produced. So one of the products I'm going to make is, so barium and potassium are going to exchange places. So barium is two positive, 
and sulfate is two negative, I'm going to look them up on my solubility table, and it's going to make a precipitate. So that's the precipitate that they alluded to in the question. And then we also are going to have KBr, and this is aqueous for sure. Um, so two BRs, two BRs, two Ks, two Ks, SO4, SO4, BA, BA. It's balanced. Okay, we're now going to do our ionic equation. So this guy, highly soluble, he's going to dissociate into ions. Two potassiums, I need two potassium ions, one sulfate, one sulfate. Barium bromide, highly soluble, going to dissociate as well into barium two plus ions and bromide ions. Again, though, I have two bromines, so I'm going to need two bromines. BASO4, it's a solid low solubility. It's going to stay together. It's not going to dissociate. And KBR, highly soluble, so it's going to dissociate into potassium ions and bromide ions. So two potassium, two potassium, two bromine, two bromine. So we're going to check our work again. Two potassiums, two potassiums, two bromine, two bromine, one barium, one barium, one sulfate, one sulfate, two positive plus two negative plus two positive plus two negative. No charge on the left, no charge here, two positive plus two negative, no charge on the right. I'm going to change pen colors, and I'm going to see, is there any spectator ions? Looks like we have two potassium ions on both sides. We also have two bromide ions on both sides. So those would be my spectators. You are not to scribble them out. I still need to read each balanced chemical reaction here. So you've got to write them so I can read them and then just gently put a line through them so I can still see your work. Last step, we're going to do the net ionic equation, which means we're going to carry down everything that actually changed in this reaction. So rewrite the ionic equation step, but leave out the spectators. So we have SO4 2 minus aqueous plus BA2 positive aqueous goes to BASO4 solid. One sulfate, one sulfate. One barium, one barium. Two minus plus two positive, no charge on the left, no charge on the right. Again, we're going to make a list of spectator ions. In this case, we have potassium ion, and we also have bromide ion as well.